All right, and opening arguments are beginning today in Dominion Voting Systems' $1.6 billion defamation lawsuit against Fox News. The high-stakes trial centers on false allegations of fraud in the 2020 presidential election. Attorneys for both Dominion and Fox News arrived at the courthouse in Wilmington, Delaware, earlier today. The company claims Fox News knowingly spread lies blaming Dominion's voting machines for Trump's election loss three years ago. But Fox maintains all of its statements are protected by the First Amendment. Joining us now from Wilmington is CBS News congressional correspondent Scott McFarland. Scott, uh, we spoke yesterday. The trial was supposed to start then. It was delayed. Uh, should we take this as an indication that a settlement won't be reached? Do you expect that to happen? Lily and Lana, there were so many opportunities for a settlement to be reached over the past 24 hours, just before the gavel struck at 9 a.m. Eastern time today, just before the jury was finally seated and sworn in, which happened just as the afternoon began today. But the jury selection process concluded, settlement didn't happen, so this trial is about to happen here in Wilmington, Delaware. There are actually 24 jurors, 12 main jurors, 12 alternates. Of the 12 main jurors, six are men, six are women, a whole range of ages. After this lunch break they've begun the afternoon with, opening statements begin, with the plaintiff going first and Fox going second. It's possible this day concludes with our first set of witnesses, but as the judge just told the jurors, Lana and Lilia, we're in this for the long haul. This is a projected six-week trial. The judge said in so many words to the jurors, get comfortable. Yeah, all right. Well, part of what's going to make this trial more complicated is that defamation cases are just notoriously difficult to prove because of the first speech uh, because of the free speech protections granted in the First Amendment. But in this case, Scott, the judge has already ruled out some of the arguments that lawyers for Fox News were hoping to use. Explain for all of us why that is and where Fox lawyers may go from here. Yeah, there are bars, there are high bars, and then there's the bar in civil defamation cases. This is a unique challenge for Dominion, but Dominion says it's ready for trial. And according to the latest court filings reviewed by CBS News, Dominion has more than 7,000 possible trial exhibits from show clips from Fox News, social media posts, even email messages from Rupert Murdoch to Lachlan Murdoch to Fox News executives. But Fox News has a huge reservoir of possible trial exhibits as well, things they want to show as they make their case. Here's what we know about Fox's defenses so far. They have argued and will argue that they believe Dominion Voting Systems is overinflating its value, that it is overestimating the dollar amount of the worth of the company and the dollar amount of the damages incurred. They're also going to make a First Amendment argument that this suit itself and this trial beginning today is a threat to the First Amendment. There are laborious tasks awaiting this judge. He has to navigate all these exhibits. There are these swarms of attorneys for each side. You can see three rows with three seats in each row for each of the two sides. There's another bench full of defense lawyers, I'm sorry, the plaintiff's lawyers and defendant's lawyers behind them as well. This is going to be a maze to navigate even before the witnesses begin taking the stand. Scott, let's talk about what's at stake here. I, I wonder if this case and, and perhaps a very expensive, you know, pay, payout if, if, the, if Dominion wins this case, I wonder if that sets a precedent. Uh, if there's something for media uh, with such power, with such great responsibility, so many people watching, if, if that changes things, what's at stake? Yeah, there's a reason 70 media credentials were issued just for the courtroom itself. There's a reason this 200-seat courtroom is at capacity with a line outside to fill vacant seats. There's a reason there's a crowd behind the camera that's pointing at me. It's not just because this is a $1.6 billion defamation lawsuit against a brand-name defendant. It's because of the stakes. This is viewed as a potential landmark case, a modern-day test of the First Amendment, a modern-day test of defamation law. And when is it happening? It's happening as the 2024 presidential campaign is beginning to ramp up. And the front-runner for the Republican nomination is Donald Trump, the person who gave rise to so many baseless claims after the 2020 election. The stakes are enormous, and not just for Fox. Important right. point there. Yep. Yep. Scott McFarland, thank you.